So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand network adapters. And then you want to find your network adapter. If you don't know which one that you need, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then it should tell you right here. It should be the first one that comes up. It's going to tell you the name of your network adapter. So for me, it's Intel R Pro. So now I'm going to go back to device manager. And here it is, Intel R Pro. You just want to right click on your network adapter and then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for your device installed. Then you want to go back and click on browse my computer for drivers. And then click on every pick from a list. And now you want to select the one that you think is most applicable. So in my case, it's going to be the first one. So you're going to click on next, which will install it. And now for the second step, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you run this, we have some commands that we need to run. So the first one is going to be NETSH space INT space IP space reset. Click on enter. It's going to ask you to restart your computer, but don't do it yet to complete all these next commands. Now we're going to type in NETSH space Winsock space reset. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash release. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew. Click on enter again. Wait for this to load. And now for the last command, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. And now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters. And then next to network and internet, you want to click on run. If any problems have been detected, it will tell you how to fix it. Now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.